Those edges round over, a bit of sand down and then paint it white and that's this part here. Okay, with the ladder painted, I can just sit now. I need to let it dry, turn it over, give it another coat. Should only take an hour or so. In the meantime, the rest of the bed. Now I've still got it set up there. I need to get the measurements of um, this shelving unit here, particularly the height, because once I take it down, I can't get that. Um, the depth I know from the room, that way is this bed minus the whole length of the room. Or <laughs> the whole length of the room minus this bed. Gives me the size of the width of this um, shelving unit here. It won't have a door in it, it's just going to be shelves. Then further under, here, behind the wardrobe, I'm going to have another shelving unit. The wardrobe itself is 490 deep. So, taking that off of the width of the bed, another width. The depth is up to me, as long as it's not bigger than the bed, which, uh, bigger than the wardrobe, which it won't be. Um, Wardrobe's 800 and some, contraboard 600 maximum on these, so that's what I'm going to be using, 600. The height, we know from the size of the wardrobe. So, that's the size I need. Next, for the bed frame itself, I need to trim this off, because it's protruding a little bit underneath, and that's going to sit on the wardrobe, so that needs to be removed. Um, I want to think about further back here, if I need more support for this to sit on the wardrobe, but... If everything is sitting tight, I think we've got enough there to be able to screw through and anchor that solidly. Um, once that's done, then I can strip them down and any bare wood pieces, take them next door, get them painted up white as well. And the leg extensions. So, first thing, get it taken apart again. Right, now I'm going to start with the shelving unit, so let's get the place ready for panel cutting.
Um, that's all the whipping to do. Now, all the cost cutting. Right, I've laid it out for the four shelves, that's um, one at the very bottom, because um, it's going to stand on a plinth. You know? And then that one there. Just to make it a little bit more even, I'm going to put that one. Okay, let's get it all the other Three holes for each. Okay, that's all I'm out. Uh, now I'll get them assembled, all in, then I can work on the top. I like to use three screws because when you're assembling it, you can put the centre screw in first and then you don't have to worry about squareness or anything, just get it centred. Um, and then when you come with the square, you're pivoting on the centre. So it's easier to square it up. On this end here, I've got a packer which will hide the gap caused by the skirting board, which skirting board will be down there. Quick 
in your mind. back on and then I can do the top which I'm down in at place. Okay, I've just pre-drilled these for the dowels and just put some dowel pegs in now. This is the uh, top of the unit. The shelf back at the very top where the TV instructor will go. Very useful tool. The gal pegs. How do men get out the ladder on that? Now I will glue this one in, but not until I get it on site because I'm not sure if I'll get the whole unit up the stairs in the wall, I might have to dismantle it. The only thing left, you can see is I need to edging strip that one because this is where the bed will be here, the top of the bed. And this is what's going to happen, stood on it. And I need to put a cleat down here, at least until it reaches the bed. Lower down it won't be ever seen, but there I need a cleat, otherwise you've got a gap. So that's still to do. Mm -hmm. 